time, teachers usually don't have a lot of it. So I want to show you how to save time when creating your presentations for your lessons using a tool called Canva. There is a free version for teachers called Canva for Educators that allows you to use all the pro features within your classroom. So I want to show you how to simply create a presentation using one of Canva's templates and how to make it your own. So let's jump over to Canva and see how that works. Before I show you how to create an engaging presentation for your lessons, I want to make sure you are aware of Canva for Education. This is a free program that teachers can use through Canva. There are different account types in Canva. They have a free version, a pro version, and a Canva for Educators. And if you get the Canva for Educators version, you're going to have all of the pro features that you can use in your classroom. Now, if you wanted to sell things you created in Canva commercially, that's a whole different story and you probably wouldn't be able to use Canva for education. But for your classroom, you would be open to use all the features. You just have to verify you're a teacher. So make sure to check out Canva education if you are a teacher. But let's jump into how to create engaging and stunning presentations for your classroom. When you open up Canva, you're going to come to create a design and you can choose presentation. If you don't see it here, you'll just type presentation in the search bar. And then you can either create your own or you can search for something you're looking for. You can see I've searched for different types of presentations already. You don't need to recreate the wheel. There are thousands of templates provided for you. So it can help jumpstart the presentation you want to use or maybe have one completely finished and created for you. So I wanna look for multiplication word problems. And you can see I have all of these different templates all about multiplication and word problems. The further down you go, the less related to the search it's going to be, right? But I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. There are 11 slides. I can add more if I wanted. But let's look at how to use this presentation and make it your own. You can use this presentation as is. It just says multiplication word problems, gives you some directions, and then it gives us eight different word problems. Now you can go ahead on here and you can change these to make them more difficult or to fit your standards as needed, but it is a great jumping off point. You can also customize all the different colors. You can see that the template, they use this blueberry color, but maybe you want different styles, different colors. I'm going to come up to design and click style. And I can, if I wanted, choose different color palettes. Maybe you're just in the mood for something different and you don't like what it gave you. You just want to play around and have fun. Go ahead, choose all these different palettes to choose from. And if you choose the palette you like and you just want to switch up the colors, you just keep clicking on that palette and it will switch up the colors around the entire slide. So maybe you want each slide a different color, whatever. I'm going to go back to the original way that they had it because I did like the colors it gave us. I just hit this back button until I got back to where I wanted. Now I could also click on the text and not just change the text, I could change the size. And I can also change the type of text. If I want something a little easier to read, although I think this is easy to read for students, I think this is a great font, but maybe you're looking for something a little more modern. We can change it to Poppins. That's another fun one that I like to use a lot of the time. And you can also spice up your presentations by adding different animations. So I could, if I wanted, animate multiplication here. I could have it pan in, fade in, kind of like that tectonic. And I can give different intensities for maybe how fast it comes in. Maybe we'll do drift. We'll have it drift in from the side and then word, word problems will maybe have it burst. I like that. You can even animate the different images here. So I'm going to choose animate. How do we want them to come in? 
neon. It's kind of fun. Tumble is always cute. You can choose flicker. They're kind of flickering there. I should probably get this other one too. Or pulse. Ooh, I like pulse. Let's do pulse. We'll change the intensity here. Awesome. So that's just a fun and engaging way to start, start your slide. You can even add fun sound by going to the left hand side here and you can either choose elements or I use audio a lot. So sometimes it pops up on the side. I'm not seeing it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click elements, scroll down until I see audio and I could maybe add some fun little music here at the beginning, just as an introduction to our slide presentation. And in fact, I'm going to want to make, maybe I'll just do it right here. And then when I play this presentation, we'll have the music on that first slide. Besides animations, you can also add different transitions between each slide. For something like this, I would probably just do a simple fade between each slide. And I can quickly just add apply between all slides. Now, if I wanted, I can add more slides. So I can go ahead and just right click here, duplicate page. And now I can change this. And it looks like this is a doodle eight number. And it's not a number I can just click. So I'm going to come to elements and I'm going to try and find something similar because it's a template. I don't know exactly what it used, but I might just say doodle numbers and see what it gives me. And then I can choose different numbers like doodle number. Maybe I want doodle number nine. And I can go ahead and now I can just place a number nine in there. Maybe find something that kind of matched. And I can change it to be a similar color in this color palette. Let's do the orange here. And then you can type a whole different question. So I just added my own slide and I said, Mikey buys three toy cars. Each car is $2. How much did Mikey spend? So now I can use this whole presentation and I could do it as a whole class, or I could assign it to students to do individually, or you could do it in rotations, however you want to do that. Now you're probably wondering, how can I share this with my students? There's a few different ways to do that. So let's look at those different options. Once you finish your presentation, there's a couple of different ways you can present it. You can present it to the whole class and you can work through it together. Or students can do it individually or in small groups on their own Chromebook or on their own computer or whatever technology you're using in your classroom. So if you wanna present it to your whole class, all you have to do is up in the corner on the right, click present, present. And here we have the music. You just click and it takes you to the next questions and slides in the presentation. Now I only had the music going through those first two slides. And so now the music stopped. I didn't want it distracting the students while they were doing the game. Now, a great feature when you're presenting is you can hit any number one through nine on the keyboard and it will come up with a timer. So if you have this up on the board and you want to give the class one minute to solve it, you would hit one on your keyboard and then you can press play. You can then add numbers or subtract as well. Now, if I had hit three, it would have given them three minutes to complete the problem. And you're just going to keep clicking on the slide to go to the next problem in the series that you've created for your students. Now, if you don't want to see this anymore, we just click minimize and you don't have to see the timer in the slides. Now, if you want to share this presentation with your students individually, maybe you want them, you assign it to them in Google Classroom, or maybe you assign it to them as a PowerPoint to do on their own device. There are a couple of different ways to do that. You can click the share button here and I would suggest doing a template link. So you would click more and then you're going to click template link. The reason 
I suggest doing this is it's because it's going to give them their own copy. If you were to just copy and send this link out, then they're going to have the original and anyone can edit it and change it and it's going to mess up your original. So share the template link with your students. You can also download this as a PowerPoint presentation. So to do that, you would click share more and then download as PowerPoint presentation. The animations won't be included, but the different transitions where it fades will, will be and the music still will be. So this is what it looks like when it's downloaded as a PowerPoint. You can see I have all the different images, things like that. This is the song. This won't appear when we actually play the presentation, but this is the music. And then here are all the questions and the word problems. So I can just present this here. You can see we don't have the animations, but that's okay. If you don't have the Canva link and you just wanna quickly have a PowerPoint, we've got that going. We do have the fade between each slide, which is nice. And they can still do all the different questions. Now you can see it didn't really, there's some little different flaws when you download it as a PowerPoint, like it didn't really transfer over with the question mark. So I would probably have to just change that font to something else that is similar to it. But minor adjustments still looks fine to me. Just make it something similar. Creating presentations in Canva is a great way for you to get engaging content and lessons for your students. In some cases, you don't even have to create the questions because they're created for you in the templates, or you're just adding to them, changing them to fit your needs and your standards. Don't spend all the time recreating the will and creating your own presentation unless you want to. But most teachers are in a hurry and they need something quickly and they don't have time to start from scratch. So, so utilize Canva, utilize all the templates they have, design them yourself if you'd like, or just tweak them to match your style and your standards that you're teaching. Let me know what you're using Canva presentations for. I would love to hear different fun ways you're utilizing this tool in your classroom.